Hello birders and welcome to the bird finding guide. This is Norm Pillsbury and I have the fun of preparing this tutorial to help guide you through the newly created bird finding guide developed by the Morro Coast Audubon Society otherwise known as BFG. This shows hotspots for San Luis Obispo County and a lot more. We recommend using Google Chrome for a browser or Safari and we'll show you examples of both. Okay, let's dig in. From your desktop, launch Chrome. Go to the Moral Coast Audubon Society website, www.moralcoastaudubon.org. Then click on Birds and select one of the preset areas, A, B, C, D, E, or just choose the Moral Coast Audubon Society Bird Finding Guides menu. This is the one that we're going to use for this tutorial because it shows all hotspots for the county. But all of these choices will take you directly to the Bird Finding Guide interactive map program that we're going to use. A very important step that may save you a lot of time and trouble is to bookmark this site. I named mine BFG for Bird Finding Guide. If anything goes wrong or you can't figure out how to get back to the beginning, just click on the BFG bookmark and everything is reset and you're ready to go. You can also use this before each new search. Now we'd like as much real estate as we can get for our screen. So we want to hide the text on the right and we do this by resizing the window like this. You hover over the right hand edge until your cursor turns into a double arrow then pull back to the left and keep pulling back until the text disappears and you only have the map showing. Now it's time to navigate around the map so you're familiar with the various options. To find a hot spot in the county, try these things. First, you can side scroll up until you see the bookmark icon at the top. And then select the bookmark and you'll see the five different preset areas in the county. This is useful if you know exactly where in the county you would like to go. Or you can side scroll down and select one of the preset areas from the list below. My favorite is to drag and zoom to the location of interest. This is a preferred method when working with the mouse because you can find your hotspots very quickly. On the bottom left we have plus and minus symbols which is also a zoom in zoom out feature and we can use that if you like. There's a home button that centers the map and then below is an arrow which brings up a floating gray window which allows us to move it to any spot in the county and that will center the map in that location. If you have an idea where you want to go in the county just drag to that location zoom in and your hotspots will be right there. Notice that the hotspot pins have different colors. To learn what they mean click on the legend icon and you'll get a description. The blue ones have both a bird finding guide description and a link to the eBird website. Purple only go to the bird finding guide and orange only to the eBird link. Last, you have a choice of the type of map you'd like to explore. Select the base map gallery icon and you'll see open street map, imagery, or topographic map. OpenStreetMap has some advantages and it's the default and we're going to use that. Okay, so let's check out a birding hotspot. Today is September 1st and you've heard that a Rufus Crown Sparrow might be seen at Coon Creek. So let's take a look. But first, where is Coon Creek? It's easy to get in and out of this program. So to find Coon Creek, we're going to create a new tab. Type in Coon Creek and there you see the choices and we'll select Coon Creek Trail. Open the map and you'll see that it's south of Morro Bay and it's, and it's the south end of Montana Bay Oral State Park. So we go back one tab to our bird finding guide and we locate Morro Bay. We find the Montana Darrow State Park to the southern end and 
sure enough, there's Coon Creek. And there's the hotspot pin. That was sure easy. When you click on the pin, two results may occur. Normally, it takes you to a location pop-up box where you can view the bird finding guide or go to the eBird website. However, if the map is sized too wide and you can see the text on the right, and you click on the pin, it will instead open up a small black box that requires a second click to advance. And there you see both the bird finding guide and the eBird option again. Either way it takes you to the same place. Alright, so let's do it. You click on the pin with the window properly sized and up comes the location pop-up box. You decide that you're going to look at the guide. And here you can find information about birds, about the conditions of the trail, poison oak, stinging nettle, all the good stuff that we encounter while hunting down these birds. After looking it over, you like what you read, so your next move is to advance to the eBird hotspots window. Note that now you are leaving the MCAS bird finding guide website and you are going to be in the eBird website. This takes us to the hotspots window, which provides an overview of the Coon Creek hotspot. Clicking View Details takes you straight to the eBird hotspot information page. This page should look familiar because it's the same eBird website that you've likely used before. So here we are at the Coon Creek Trail eBird hotspot. Next, it would be useful to change the time to current year or something else, but don't forget to click Set after you do that. Now you can scroll down to find Rufus Crown Sparrow. And yes, there it is, number 23, and it was seen just a few days ago on August 28th. So your chances of finding it look promising. So let's go rack them up. Of course, there are many other options in eBird, and you can explore them. At this point, you have a couple of options. If you wish to start a new search, you can return to the Moro Coast Audubon Society Interactive Map and Bird Finding Guide website by either clicking on the bookmark that you saved, BFG, or clicking two tabs back and you'll be at the BFG Interactive Map with the multicolored pins. On the other hand, if you want to explore other eBird hotspots, you can return to the eBird hotspots window that shows the colored teardrop markers. To do this, you can either click on the hotspot map label on top left, or click on the map top right. We'll click on the map. Close the eBird hotspots window, click the X, and select another eBird hotspot, one of the many teardrops. Here you can explore other hotspots anywhere in the county and use the key to figure out how many species might be seen there. Now that was so easy, we're going to do it again, but a little quicker and this time using Safari as your browser. The first time you start in Safari, you may be taken to a screen that shows a page like this. If so, resize it a little larger and then click in one of the side areas of the page. And then resize again to eliminate the text on the right. You're ready to start and from now on it will work exactly the same as in Chrome. And don't forget to set a bookmark, it can be a big help. Okay, let's say that you've heard that an American Red Start was seen in Islay Creek Campground near campsite number 7. By now you know that this campground is located in Montana de Oro State Park. You should know that only the open street map shows the campsite numbers, which is the default option for the website. In the interactive map area, drag and scroll to the campground site quickly locating Site 7 by zooming in. By looking at the map, you can see that this will be easy to find on the ground. While we're there, let's see what other birds might be at the campground. Click on the pin, go straight to eBird, and click View Details in the eBird Hotspots window. Here we are at the Islay Creek Campground, Montana Daryl State Park. 
The default for this window is all years, so change it to current month, click set, and there's the list and the last date seen. Unfortunately, we don't see the American Red Start, but we do see that there are a lot of birds there, and we decide to go anyhow. You decide to print a PDF of the campground map to take with you. Click on the previous tab, or use your bookmark, to return to the campground map and close the location pop-up box. Drag and zoom the map until you get the desired picture that you would like to print. If the legend is off the screen, side scroll up or down and then select it and select print. Select the desired print size and orientation and format. More options are available in the advanced box. Click print and wait a few seconds. When the Adobe icon is displayed, you can drag it to your desktop to save, print later, or load on your smartphone, or, in our case, we can't wait, so we're going to print now. Double click. And now we have the option of downloading it or printing. We print the normal way, Command P or Control P on your keyboard, and we're ready to print. To start a new search, click on your bookmark, and you know the rest. Happy birding!